Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week 13 in the NFL. We're talking right now with Troy West, who's been absolutely on fire recently in our videos. 7-0 and 1 against spread over the last two weeks. He swept the board last week, swept the board two weeks ago. Uh, although two weeks doesn't really make much, isn't that big of a deal. But long term, absolutely awesome in the NFL. He was 57% uh, with us last year on over the whole season. Big sample size this year, right around 57%. Again, 14 and 10 overall. And uh, right now he's going to take two more NFL games list. Troy West, thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks a lot, Pete. And guess what, man? Listen carefully because this is one yes. of my top plays. Really? Once again, I can't tell you the last time we lost one. Just been on absolute fire, Pete. I hate giving away free winners, but you know what? It's SBR. It's a charity website. I'll give it away for free. This one's yours free. <laughs> yes, it is. Charity website. That we're, we're, we're coming to you with our handout. If this is one of your top plays, then I already know what it is because there is no way in hell that you're making Atlanta one of your top plays of the year. But we'll hear your uh, your analysis of this game uh, in a second. Before we get to it, just tell everyone what uh, allplayswin.com is all about. That's your website, and uh, it's very different from the free stuff you do with us in our videos, right? Absolutely, Pete. Everything's a little bit different. We're still giving out free winners here on your website, but we run a really tight unit system, Pete, that we preach to all of our clients. Really, really strict money management. It's something we've been doing for eight years, Pete. It's just been a lot of success. It's been a great, great run with our company. People love our company. We're the best in customer service out there, Pete. You're going to get real people, and you're going to get winners. We've been doing this a long time. I've had a ton of success. Our whole company's had a ton of success. I really, really encourage people to come take a look at all plays. Plan. Come give us a shot. I'll give you a free trial. I'll show you what we're about. Been outstanding, Pete. All right, sounds great, Troy. Well, Arizona Atlanta is the first game we're going to cover. You say this is, uh, you know, one of your top plays, another top play which you uh, usually win, and so uh, there's got to be Arizona here. If you I, if you come out and tell me that uh, that Atlanta is one of your top plays in this <laughs> game, then I'm going. I will convert to gay. I will convert to uh, to gay <laughs> if that's what this is. But there's no way you're picking Atlanta. Maybe you'd lean Atlanta uh, as as a lukewarm lean, but there's no way Atlanta is one of your top plays. They've been absolutely just terrible under a. They're now two and six against spread over their last eight. And Arizona, of course, has been absolutely killing it all year long, except for last week where they went into Seattle and uh, and did get flattened. So, you know, if, if you look at that as just an aberration, it's tough to go into Seattle on the road, you know, throw that game out. Uh, Arizona's been absolutely killing it. The question is, though, you know, Fitzgerald a little bit banged up. Drew Stanton looks like he's, you know, has some limitations uh, as a quarterback, so I'm not exactly sure if you would expect them to uh, to bounce back to their previous uh, form with Carson Palmer. You know, I'm not sure if Stanton can get it done, but for sure, if this is one of your top plays, it's Arizona minus two and a half. Oh, Pete, you got to love Atlanta in this football game. <laughs> Come on, they're playing at home. They're playing at home. No, I'm kidding, Pete. I absolutely love Arizona in this football game. I, I'll be the first to admit one of my losses on Sunday was Atlanta over Cleveland. Mm -hmm. And I watched that football game extremely close, Pete. Cleveland should have won that football game for uh, at least by 28 points if it weren't for Hoyer behind the wheel at quarterback. That was, a, that was the worst performance I've seen by an Atlanta football team at home. They can't stop the run. They can't stop the pass. Matt Ryan, is, is to me, is not even a top-15 quarterback at this point. Arizona's still Arizona, Pete. They've lost two football games this year. They've lost at Denver, and they've lost at Seattle. This is a good football team. I think Larry Fitzgerald will be back in that lineup. They missed him against Seattle. Seattle, you got to understand, Pete, that was a tough football game for Arizona to go sure. into and win that game. Seattle had so much to play for at that point. This is a good Arizona team, Pete. I think Atlanta's going to struggle to move the football. I think Sam gets back to form against a really bad Atlanta defense. Just would be shocked to see Arizona lose this football game, Pete. I would be absolutely shocked. Like you said, Pete, Atlanta underachievers, Mike Smith's on the hot seat. There's just not much going in Atlanta. I know they're still in the race in that shitty division. But I just don't see Atlanta getting it done against Arizona. You've got to go with the Cardinals. All right. I'll tell you what, though. It feels a little bit trappy. I mean, first of all, line's taking a big move, right? It was like pick them or minus one for uh, Atlanta when it opened. Now it's all the way at plus two and a half market wide. And, uh, you know, it, it just feels a little bit trappy. Arizona feels like the obvious play. For sure, it's going to be a huge public play. And the question is just Drew Stanton. You know, he's probably going to be up and down. Probably he'll be more up at home, more down on the road. And, uh, you know, he's going to have to bounce back here after a tough outing last week now he's still on the road here into going into another environment which is you know Atlanta doesn't have the, that home edge this year but it's still you know a quarterback with limitations playing a second straight road game off of a mediocre game I mean uh, there's questions now for Arizona aren't there no absolutely and, and, and Pete when the first when the line originally came out it, it definitely raised questions in my eyes as mm -hmm. well I just cannot figure it out for the life of me but I think Drew Stanton is taking a lot of heat. And Pete, you got to understand, not many people watch that football game against Seattle. They had a third and goal 
from the three yard line and this guy threw a ball right in John Brown's hands that dropped, it would have been a ten to nine game instead of nine to three. I mean it was it was about as a hundred percent of a catch as you're ever gonna see. That really shows against his numbers and makes Drew Stan look bad. This is a guy that's actually come in and done a pretty damn good job for an Arizona football team. The guy can throw the deep ball. He's got wide receivers. I know the running game's been a little bit hesitant at points, but this is a good team. Pete. One thing I love betting, I love betting teams with good defenses. We know Arizona's defense is outstanding. They were still outstanding against Seattle. They sacked Russell Wilson five times. I think this is a team that's going to go in, make Matt Ryan look like crap, and they're going to win this football game. All right. Well, I'm sure this will be at least a big, if not enormous, public play, but you might be on the right side here. Anyway, right now, minus two and a half is the market-wide line. We'll see uh, where this line moves, if it moves anymore. Troy West, like in Arizona, minus two and a half. Thanks, Troy. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.